hello hi everyone so today we are going to discuss again a uh, very important topic infosys automation test engineer interview question process and tips and tricks what tricks you can use to crack the infosys interview for uh, software testing in automation so without wasting our time let's get uh, started so the table of content is saying there are i mean how many rounds are there so there are three rounds like round one technical two technical and third one is sr round so let's start with the round first introduce yourself in brief where you need to give the introduction about your roles and responsibility of your project how you can define that like you are working on any project as a manual tester you can explain like i was uh, or i am working as a manual tester and i used to participate in different meeting i used to write test cases i used to uh, execute my test cases and raise the defect in x y z tools and this is how you can explain the the interviewer like about your day to day activity next is what is stlc obviously as you are a automation uh, uh, sorry manual testing candidate and uh, or testing candidate so the question is very basic is like uh, stlc interviewer will ask you about all the phases of stlc so you can explain these detail of all those phases of stlc and he can ask you or he may ask you about uh, i mean at what are the entry and exit criteria for each stage like test planning test design test environment setup test execution defect logging and closer closer activity and so he can ask you about the entry and exit criteria so you guys have heard about entry and exit criteria so you can explain next is can you give me the difference between test plan test case test scenario and how we use this in our testing so you can explain him like what is test plan what are the identifier of test plan what are the component in test plan what things we used to keep in test plan what is the test scenario and what is the test case so the next question is give me 10 positive and negative important scenario or test cases on pen so obviously we can give some positive test cases very easily but when it comes to the negative then it will be difficult like what all things we can think of so just prepare for all those negative uh, test cases every time i have seen many interviews many interviewer who used to ask negative i mean how you can break the system the intention of the tester should be how we can break the system if developer share you the build and you are unable to find any defect then what is the use of testing as well as tester that's why the intention of a tester is to break the system or find a defect rather than just checking the uh, actual and expected thing so when you answer something like that like i used to i mean write test cases in such a way which will to find out how we can break the system how we can uh, find out some critical things in our Uh, build next is what is selenium framework and what are the component of it so the question is selenium framework so framework selenium is a tool to use while creating a framework and what are the component like uh, you can explain if you are an automation candidate you can explain him like you are using um, report you are using logger you are using page object model design pattern or page factory or something like you can explain you you can explain him like this is the this you are using extend or lo report for your reporting purpose and this is how you can explain it next is how to write test cases of an api and how will you verify the response in postman again important question because right now everything is based on i mean if i talk about organization level everybody using or everybody is having microservice based architecture previously i mean still some people are using some organization are using monolithic architecture like uh, prime amazon prime video recently shifted from microservice based architecture to monolithic architecture so 
in microservice based architecture you will see a lot of api integrated in th into the application they has their own database they used to bring the database some cache mechanism is there so there are a lot of things here we need to test the apis so if i need to test the api you must be using some tool like advanced rest client or uh, postman most of the time people are using postman so what all test cases you write to test an api or is there any document that you use like swagger or some people are using conference document where they, they used to write the apis like this this is the api endpoint the api method is get put post or whatever this is the request body of this this is the response of that api so this is how you can verify and you can write the test cases in this manner and how to verify response in postman obviously when you hit an api in postman you must be seeing some response in a in a in blow docs or uh, of postman and if somebody is asking you what all things or what all key response areas key keys in response you used to verify you can answer them next is what is weight in selenium how many type of weight we use and why so as you know i mean why weights are important because there are only two things in automation that might be i mean due to these thing we used to maintain our framework first one is the xpath used to change and time taken by any element if we provide suppose for an element if i have provided 30 second and if it is not appearing within 30 second then it start failing whether the xpath is there or not so that is why wait come to into the picture and you can explain like how you have used uh, implicitly wait explicitly wait and fluent wait next is if i have to execute my test cases parallelly what should be used in selenium so as you know like for parallel executing your test cases you should uh, use uh, multi threading in driver so that you can use that and you can create multiple instance while using that driver and uh, parallelly you can use test ng to parallelize your test cases whether it's a browser based i mean or single test case you need to or two test cases you need to run parallelly next is have you written the framework from the scratch and what are the challenges you have faced recently so i have seen i mean i mean whenever you uh, join any organization you used to found that framework is there but how we can answer to this question so the answer is like i used to manage the framework when i say managing the framework i used to update the critical common classes common methods and the test cases itself i used to write test cases whenever there is a failure or modification is required or any upgradeation is required suppose if i am executing my test case linearly now i need to update or i um, i need to execute them parallelly so this is how i used to upgrade my framework or if i i, I need to execute my frame or set up jenkins or docker something like that you can answer that but answer um, i mean you have to be true like uh, if you haven't worked on docker or anything do not say that i have worked on it just say no i haven't worked on it but if i have given chances to work upon then i can perform next is can you write code how to handle and verify broken links this is very a general question i have seen many times interview used to ask like identify all the links on the page and click on it and verify it is giving 500 exception so when i say 500 exception page is blank it mean to say link is broken so this is how you can write your code in upcoming lectures i can i mean i will be start uh, i mean solving these problems like broken links or string or uh, list related program uh, i will be creating the video for the same next is tell all web driver exception occurred while writing selenium script so this shows like you have working knowledge in automation or you just have a 
theoretical knowledge so if you have working knowledge then obviously you will i mean you have faced some exceptions while writing your test script so you can explore the web drive exception alert not present timeout exception illegal like a file not present exception or something like there are still element exception there are multiple types of exception next is web drive exception occurred while writing the selenium script what are the limitation of selenium and how we can get rid of so as you guys know we used to use selenium for web automation we cannot uh, i mean there windows pop up is also a tricky task for uh, selenium that's why we use auto it and other tools and captcha and other things cannot be uh, cannot be done or cannot be achieved while using selenium other things like i mean selenium is not used to work in den in isolation we use test ng we use extend record we use listeners and all those things along with selenium next is any http operation or method you have worked on so this says like anything like is a this is related to api if you worked on api you can answer that like uh, i used to test the api i used to verify the response code or anything what are what is the enum in java have you used in your code next is round 2 so i have i mean again consolidated all those things so you can see like some question i'm uh, some question are very tricky but there are chances that interviewer in any interview you might face this question so that's why i have I mean, I have gone through ten or twenty uh, infosys. Uh, what do you say? Uh, interviews and find out the the important and unique questions out of those interviews and put it over here so that if you go through that and you have some knowledge in automation, you can very. I mean, you can check your knowledge. Next is interview ask. Used to ask question on Selenium test in the Java and Mail. Tell me about yourself again, very basic because this is the second round of interview. What is the main difference between find element and find elements, and where we use them? Is there any difference between implicit and explicit? For a particular condition, we use implicitly, and for generic, like for for a particular particular condition, we use explicitly, and for implicit, it used to work for. Each line of code is to use to wait for each line of code. Can you write the syntax of that? How to invoke different browser? Can we invoke it using testng.xml? So I would suggest you guys to solve this question. That can we achieve this through testng.xml? Can we? Obviously, we can use by using parameterization. So if you haven't done or if you haven't uh, worked on parameterization. you need to check like how we can parameterize the browser and use it in your test can you answer about the number of test and generation as sequence like before test before suit before class at the rate before method and after series how to read and write excel which library we use so everybody knows like apache py is been used to read and write excel how to do parallel again we have already discussed which tools you are using in selenium what all components you are using along with selenium apis intro might ask you about the version of selenium the chrome version that you need the firefox version that you are using you can ask you timeout exception in selenium how to solve it what is stale element very basic question and i mean you can you can see like this question used to i mean people used to ask a lot of time this question this question how to solve it how to perform drag and drop Dra drop in selenium can you do it with or without inbuilt method obviously as we all know drag and drop is a function of actions class we can directly but if i need to 
use without that then you must have heard about like move to element and drag it and drop it something like this so next is write a program to find out two largest number in an integer array like first highest first largest and second largest what is the collection in java how it is different from collections so collections is a class just check about it like what all methods we, we have in collections and collection is a framework what is the difference between or among final finally finalize i have already covered this question multiple times so this is the repetitive question not here but in some of the interview series what is constructor in java can we override constructor we have overloaded it but can we override it what is the defect of bug life cycle what are the important stages in that like uh, deferred or want fix and other stages like open new close reopen something like that so next is what is sdlc provide me some of the development methodologies like agile waterfall iterative spiral rapid i mean there are multiple methodology but uh, i mean he may ask you about some different benefit of that disadvantages of using waterfall what are the advantages of agile over waterfall why we use access modifier as you i mean guys know like access for access modifier used to restrict a class by unauthorized access like if i have created a private uh, method then obviously nobody can use that only the class member can that class member can use that next is what is the main difference between checked and unchecked exception how to handle alert in selenium if there are nested alert how to handle that very good question he will ask you to write and definitely will ask you to write the program or code to solve this part how to handle iframes and difference between window and iframe so once you clear all both the rounds then obviously the normal round is a shower round where expectation feedback from the previous round or are you comfortable in doing manual testing only as you can see like i mean they have taken the interview for both automation plus manual but if they are asking you can you do it can you only do manual testing then this is up to you like if you ask me i will say yes obviously it, it depends situation it depends upon situation like if only manual testing work is there obviously i will be doing that but if automation is there i can switch to the automation or i can do it parallelly so the tips for entry preparation is like these are the topic that you need to cover some important point that you should see is like be specific about your answer straight forward because there could be i mean there could be a lot of candidate waiting for the interview so if you waste i mean if you are just uh, i mean giving the answer very lengthy answer then it will not help because interviewer doesn't have that much time so do not waste your time as well as interview so this is all about infosys automation testing interview i have given you process tips and all those things so all the best thank you for watching